Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. We've got some pretty big news in the world of game development, and that is that Physics 5 is here, and it is open source. Now that needs to have a little bit of explanation, because technically Physics 5.1 is here, and it used to be open source, sort of stopped, and it is again. So we'll explain all of that in just a second, but the good news is, you can use Physics. It's an open source physics engine, if you've never heard of it before. Uh, open source, scalable, multi-platform physics simulation solutions supporting a wide range of devices, from smartphones to high-end multi-core CPUs and GPUs. It's it's basically a collection of SDKs uh, from NVIDIA for doing physics simulations. You've got a universal sol or unified solver here for doing things like uh, soft body simulations, cloth, and so on. Uh, it is scalable. Uh, it is broken into three different libraries. The physics core itself, which is the physics engine. Uh, the physics blast for um, basically destructive environments. And then we got physics flow for doing things like combustible fluid, fire, and smoke. So if you want to recreate real worldy kind of physics simulations, basically your game engine or your game itself passes in kind of the world and what movements have happened and then the physics engine kind of calculates how things should work that calculation part is what we call a solver so that's like the the easiest definition of what a physics engine is all about and physics between physics and havoc are the two most popular commercial solutions out there um in terms of games using it there have been quite a few now this is a very subset of games there have been a ton more than what you see here but this is coming from the wikipedia page and you're going to see some titles you've definitely heard of various different assassin creed games Games, the Batman series of games, uh, Witcher 3, and so on. So this is definitely production-proven technology. Physics has been around the block and back again. Now, the worst part about physics is, uh, with Physics 5, the announcement of it came back in January of 2020, and none of us have had access to physics as a standalone SDK. The problem is, it was only actually available within the Omniverse. Now, the Omniverse is... Uh, it's a video into itself. I've actually done a video on it. It's very cool technology. It's basically a bridge between the world of 3D and the world of content creation to really oversimplify it. Um, but they've also built in, again, physics simulation. You have things like USD or universal scene description. You've got uh, importer, exporters for bringing things between various different platforms. There's a ton to the Omniverse, but basically think of the Omniverse as the, this universal bridge between things that are 3D. And they had built physics into it and only into it. It will be built with physics 5.0 so to the rest of the world physics 5.0 basically just stopped existing it was no longer available as an open source sdk physics 4 was but physics 5 was basically turned into this uh private part of omniverse now a lot of omniverse is technically open source but if you wanted to use physics on your own you were out of luck and this was announced again uh back in 2020 so january the very beginning of 2020 physics 5 was announced in omniverse but not as an sdk and we even had a follow-up so in uh, basically a year later in 2021 this person asked okay what up where is physics 5.0 will it be available um and you can see here, it went in open beta. You needed to apply under the SDK, under the NDA to get access to it. And they were still trying to figure out exactly how they were going to license it and how it was going to work. It was really kind of uh, built into part of Omniverse. So people that wanted to use physics as a library, well, you were kind of out of luck until... Da, 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 today, uh, today being November the 8th, uh, in which point open source simulation expands with NVIDIA Physics 5 release. Now this gets a little confusing because technically today, Physics 5.1 was released. So 5 is a version that was never publicly available. So this is the first version of Physics available to the unwashed masses. So it's technically Physics 5.1 that was released today, but that's really kind of splitting hairs. Uh, it's under the same open source license as Physics 4, which is the BS D license, which is a pretty flexible license in what it allows you to do. Um, again, it was part of the whole uh, Omniverse part of things. What's new in the Physics 5? Uh, NVIDIA Flow and Blast libraries, technically not dependent on physics, are now part of the physics product family and licensed together. And remember, those were the ones for doing um, you know, fluid simulations and for doing destructive uh, destruction. So it's now bundled with Physics SDK in the same GitHub repo, and Blast will be added soon. So if you want to do destructive stuff, you're going to have to wait just a little bit more. Uh, physics 5 SDK now supports capabilities of NVIDIA Flow which enables new features. These uh, features include finite element model-based soft body dynamics, as well as liquid uh, cloth, um, inflatable objects using position-based dynamics, optimized to run on GPUs. Sign distance field collision feature on GPU has also been added. Uh, 
which allows the user to perform collision detection using a voxelized version of the source mesh, eliminating the need to create convex decompositions. Basically, uh, you can use an SDF field to just kind of work with the object as it is, as opposed to having to make a hull around it, is, is what that is saying. I don't know what the performance ramifications of that are, but it's a neat feature. Uh, new CPU features, physics users can now define custom geometries, meaning cylinder shapes or implicit block-based worlds can now be supported. Both CPU and GPU parallel computing performances for large simulations uh, has been significantly improved. By the way, even though this is NVIDIA, it will run across a wide variety of devices, including up to mobile devices. Uh, evolved roles of physics also bring some fundamental technical changes. Uh, formerly a game physics engine with optimized ports available for a broad range of video game consoles, physics is now a high fidelity GPU accelerated physics simulation engine used in robotics, uh, deep reinforcement learning, autonomous driving, factory automation, visual effects, to name just a few. Basically, that's the stuff that they're using for in Omniverse, in addition to also video games of course. Um, video game console ports are no longer available from NVIDIA, although given our permissive licensing, uh, the community is now able to create and maintain uh, ports to such platforms. That's actually potentially going to be an issue for people using it, but I'm assuming that people that are using it for consoles already have access to those uh, those ports, but be interested to see what that will do. Uh, as part of the update, some of the tools and technologies such as digital content creation tool exporters, debugging telemetry, and diagnostics demos and samples have now been merged into the Omniverse platform. Uh, advanced demos are no longer bundled with the SDK. Visit the physics demos in NVIDIA Omniverse at NVIDIA On Demand for more advanced examples of what is possible with physics. So they are still sort of bundling uh, huge aspects of this in into the Omniverse side of things. In terms of what is the future, uh, we've got physics is essential in making video game worlds feel more realistic and believable, not to mention fun. We're excited to see NVIDIA going open source with the latest version. Uh, that's the director of technology at Remedy. Near future, watch for source code releases showing how to build a user modified version of the physics SDK into a custom Omniverse extension. NVIDIA also plans to have a full reference implementation of a USD physics parser and simulation stack available with full source. Uh, so the physics, the physics source code is all available. It is hosted up on GitHub. Now, interestingly enough, this license is um, seemingly out of, because it's supposed to be BSD3. Uh, so I, I don't know why they link to that particular custom license or this particular version, uh, but this is supposed to be under the BSD3 license overall. Um, again, Flow is part of this archive now and the destructive physics is coming soon. Uh, the documentation is available. There's this discussion that has literally nothing in it. Uh, so that's that's an interesting thing. Uh, but yeah, definitely it is now available uh, on uh, GitHub for people to use. Again, uh, this is the 5.1 release of the SDK as well as Flow. The destruction stuff is coming at a later date. Um, yeah, definitely a nice development here. Uh, physics is, again, one of those important libraries that sort of seemed to just disappear for a while, it seemed to be like it was being subsumed into Omniverse and that game developers that wanted to use it as a dedicated game engine, or sorry, physics engine, or to implement it into their custom game engine or an open source game engine were really kind of out of luck because it had disappeared. It was under this proprietary license. It was part of Omniverse. What was today's release of Physics 5 point, technically one, uh, we are now... Uh, open source. Although again, some of the samples, etc., have been moved over into the Omniverse. And if you are using it for console developments, you may have some additional snags there uh, because NVIDIA isn't actually maintaining those particular ports anymore. So I'm, I'm interested to see how that ultimately turns out. But for the most part, definitely some good news here. So if you are looking for a physics engine, uh, specifically uh, one that works across multiple devices and uh, has a uh, you know, fluid simulations built into it in addition to the uh, core part, and then eventually blast as part of this as well, the destruction physics. Uh, you can definitely check out physics. Again, physics 5.1, now released, now open source, BSD3 license. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.